Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to go into how to easily do product research on Google to find winning products that you can market on Google, on Facebook, um, and just new ideas in general. So let's get straight into it. So it's really not many steps to this. It's a pretty easy, straightforward strategy. Um, I pretty much come up with this. So you just need a Google ad account in order to do this. It's free. Just make one, go through their steps. Um, really, really easy. Um, now, as a general tip, I do recommend that you have an understanding of the different types of keywords. Um, a lot of people don't seem to take much interest in the different types of keywords, but if you are serious about Google, well, knowing that Google is a search engine, you should really start to learn how keywords work. I have videos on this. There's other videos on YouTube. Go and watch them. I have this in my course as well, but that's another story. Um, so I've gone through a video as well on commafeed.com um, and uh, so I recommend, you know, if you already have a number of websites, um, use commafeed.com. This is really easy to do, okay? Um, so use commafeed, if you, especially for larger websites. Um, you're just gonna copy and paste the URL into the Google Keyword Finder to find their site keywords and other keyword ideas. As I said, it works best for websites that are larger websites in terms of search volume. Um, and there's not much benefit in single product stores unless you're after keywords from that store specifically. If you're running search campaign or something along those lines, okay. This um, uh, is also important, I should add, that this can actually help with interest targeting. If you're doing Facebook ads and you're after new interest, you can find some unique ideas uh, using this method. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how this all sort of works uh, right now. Okay, so I'm in my uh, course, my course ad account. I chose this one because when you have spent a little bit of money, well, not even a little bit, I think it's like 50, $100 or something, um, you actually start to see this data because by default, most of your ad accounts won't have this. Um, I don't know exactly why that is, uh, but that's just the way it is, okay? So keep that in mind if your interface is different. If I, um, so how I did this was I just went into the keyword planner here, keywords, um, and you can go start with a website. So if we put in www.bluecrate, just to start with one that's easy for everyone to follow, because most people know Blue Crate, we're gonna see the stats of Blue Crate and by default, it does it over the last 12 months, um, which is definitely fine. However, again, if you want to try and find more trending products, your best bet is to do the last three months, um, at least three months for Google. I mean, because you want to, uh, Google takes a lot longer for it to index data, okay? Um, we can see that we're on the, already in the middle of August, but it doesn't really count August, okay? So you you want to keep that in, in mind. All right, and so you can see that um, their total search volume and stuff like that, they're getting, you know, consistently high figures. Um, and so this can be a, a fantastic indicator. So there's like plenty of websites that are getting a large amount of traffic. This will work very well for general stores um, as well. So... Obviously, this being a general store works very well. You preferably, as I said here, want to find ones with at least 100 monthly search volume. And so you got the volume in US, okay? So this is US. And I'm um, sorry, I, pardon me. It's set to Australia by default. So always change to United States because obviously that's where most countries are getting most traffic. Just to keep it consistent. You can change the search network and stuff, but... The, um, not really much benefit in that. It's just going to blow out the average monthly search volume. So straight away, you can see here a number of these aren't doing well um, and uh, not really needed. So here we got this beer pong hat. Okay, beer pong hat. Here we go. There's a funny item. There's a winning item for you right there. I just found one in five seconds. Beer pong table. I think we already know about those. Um, but this is... The, any of these products that show up here or any of these search terms, they must either be running Google ads or they've got SEO that's going to a product page somewhere along the line. Now, me being here in Australia, um, 
uh, I probably don't see it as much. I don't know how Alibaba, you know, their specific strategy, but you can see that this is it here. This is a funny item, um, especially in the United States, still being in summer, people love to drink and that, people drink all year round. But there you go, you've got this funny um, item centered around drinking, plenty of quality images, um, and you can obviously market this on on Google as well. You just need multiple keywords. You can see that the CPC is very low. That's not very accurate, I found, but it's uh, something really handy to know. Um, so that's one one example. Okay, straight away we can you know your eyes are diverted to this self stirring mug. Now I know what this one is because we've seen this one plenty of times, but you know this is a, a trending item that you can see that you can, in addition to this by doing this, you can find plenty of YouTube channels that are doing dropship related items. So funky lighting TV, you're gonna find, um, so if you go to the videos tab, you'll find a number of channels that you can, that have, um, here we go, Hugo shop, I'm sure a number of us know that, that's another general store um, that are uploading it. Amazing stuff, here we go. So this can also help you to find um, stores on YouTube really easy um, that you can subscribe to follow whatever and try and get video creatives and ideas from there as well really that simple um, so again I just keep going through all these if you ever stuck you can just anything with at least a hundred search volume is worth your time let's go all okay so <laughs> I think I've seen this actually um, but anyway, so you can see this is a lower ticket item. It's funny. Um, and again, people would like that. You know, it's pretty unique, but also at the same time for everyone, because most people want to do Facebook ads. Um, you know, you can see a clear type of people you're going to market. You're not going to market this to people who like chairs, FYI. You're going to market this to people that like cats, because everyone has a chair. Okay, you're going to market this to people that have that like cats. Simple as that. So let's move on. And so you can see Meowingtons. I'm pretty sure this is, is Meowingtons, a, or am I getting that confused with an actual brand? No, this is, yeah, here we go. So they're, they're actually ranking high for this keyword. Here we go. And we've just found um, a store that is a brand store centered around cats, a very passionate niche, selling it for 15 bucks. And if we have a look here, they're what? 220,000 search volume a month. They got a pretty high bounce rate though. Anyway, but you can see here that they're getting SEO from this. And I, obviously, I have no idea if these are actual legitimate reviews or whatever. It doesn't matter. But this is a cool item. Cat Paw Chair Socks. I don't know if many of you have seen it, but whatever. There you go. Um, and that's how you can find products like this. Um, and uh, th they're not marketing it, much, potentially. I don't know. But... Um, you can get plenty of ideas from this. You can find stores. You can find YouTube channels. If we again have a look at a YouTube channel, let's see what we can find. Quality Grab. That sounds like a general store. I'm going to mute my volume. And there we go. We now have a creative. And they are a general, definitely a general store. And this is their creative. Not optimized for YouTube at all, but clearly optimized 100% for Facebook. You can tell just by the creative. But then you can go to their channel and you can see other items that they have uh, potentially marketed. We can see, what can we see here? We can see this was from 11 months ago. This was from a year ago. So let's have a look at this one. Ultra thick car cleaning towel. I've never seen this item. There we go. So that's cool. Um, for people to clean their cars with. And uh, you can see that it's had a few thousand views. So to some degree, it's been organic or whatever. This store has been around for a while. Okay, and that's 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 how you can do product research using Google, just using simple uh, keyword planner. Like this is something that, uh, poor socks is a bit too broad. This is what I mean by understanding that, um, uh, that certain keywords don't re relate. Like poor socks, what does that mean? It's not something specific. Fake man bun, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what jokes we can find from this. Not a prank. There we go. So apparently it really is a thing to actually buy fake man buns and uh, whatever. I'm not talking about that. I'm not getting in trouble. Moving on. Um, floating drink holder for pool. There we go. There's an obvious one. Floating drink holder. 
So you get plenty of ideas and you just use these stores. Now if I use, let's just to show you, because I'm sure people are going to have questions. Meowwinkins.com. So let's, and this works for general and niche. Okay, so cat bow tie. Okay, so clearly something to do with cat bow ties is something that people seem to want to buy. Um, <laughs> it is pretty cute. Anyway, so you can get plenty of ideas from this. It has a lot of search volume. It is a bit broad, so I'd say probably I'd skip over it. Um, but again, you got the same keyword there. Cat printing clothing. Um, cat clothes, too broad. Cat clothing for cat lovers, no. So this is where at times you have to... Uh, cat design clothing, no. Cat clothing for adults. You want a fruit tart cat bed. Here we go. So that's the type of keywords that we're after. Because it's very specific. Here we go. So this is pretty adorable. And you can see how they've ranked really high for this. This is definitely a winning product for them. Um, 100% based on the amount of reviews. Um, you can definitely see this as a winning item. I don't know what, there we go, there's the reviews. So you can see that this item has done well um, for them. They're ranking pretty high in Google, sorry, ranking top of Google with a 1300 search volume. Okay, now this is to Australia, I should add, because obviously my DNS, um, I sorry, my IP in that, obviously to Australia, but yeah, 1300 search volume and you've also got ideas for keywords to run for rank keywords maybe um, I'd have to turn my DNS on to have a look but you can um, definitely try and rank for this and it's very low competition now that again is here in Australia um, based on this but there we go you found a product that you can now market to a very passionate niche we know it's done well and um, so I'm just gonna go back to this site Sorry, and and just show you. So let's have a look at Meowington's, I believe, has been around for a period of time. Uh, best selling. I wonder if we can see. No. <clears throat> Facebook trending. It's an actual thing. But anyway, you can see it's actually still pretty high up here. Like a lot of these people have done quite a bit of marketing, but you can see it's high up there. So that's definitely got them quite a number of sales. This item based purely just on the amount of reviews you can tell all right and then as you get high you usually see a lot of reviews so here's other winning items as well all right so plenty of ideas just by simply using this free tool and i can go through it all day long again cat tart bed there's another one um furry cat ear headband there's another one so whether it's a general store or a niche store doesn't really matter as i said it doesn't work for a one product store because you only have one product so what you see is what you get, right? So unless you wanted to try and get keyword ideas, there's no real benefit in this. But you can see how by just doing this, copying it into Google, then looking at YouTube, looking at channels, finding channels in a matter of seconds, um, subscribing to those channels, and um, then getting other ideas um, from their channels for the creatives. Um, you can look at their landing pages because most of the time they... If they're smart, they'll have it in their actual landing page. Uh, sorry, in their um, YouTube description. And here we go. Here's their store. I've never personally seen this one. Okay, they don't have a huge amount of search volume right now. But you can see that somewhere along the line, this done well for them. They've spent quite a period of time on it. And there's a store that we can um, now add. So qualitygrab.com. Let's see if uh, in Google, we what we can try and find from it. Qualitygrab.com. Good results. So only one, Aqua Dog Water Bottle. There we go, and where am I? Whatever, that'll do. Um, all right, so we've seen this item, but they're ranking for it. So this is to some degree a winning item for them. And again, just looking here, we can see that this is just in the last few months. If you wanna look further back, be my guest, but I'm trying to teach you how to find winning products now, because everyone wants to have winning products that are trending right now, the easiest to sell. So that's pretty much the strategy, to be honest. Um, not a huge amount more to it other than that. So I hope that has been helpful for you. And that concludes today's strategy on how to find winning products on Google quickly and easily and how you can do it as well in really no time at all. Um, today's winner will be announced in the description and pinned items. I haven't chosen the person yet. Time of recording this was too early. If you did like today's video, be sure to subscribe. 
hit that like button, comment, crush it down below to go on the chance for a 30 minute call. I know all the students that go in those calls with me get a lot of value. I'm a very detail orientated person. Um, I cut through the crap. That's just who I am. I hate crap. Um, so if you do want some actual help, then comment down below. All right. And the winner will be announced in the next video. If you want a product research tool so you don't have to do it this way, um, I recommend SalesSource. A lot of people ask me, I just recommend SalesSource. I use it, it's fine. There's also droppoint.site. That's a cheaper alternative. Or you can just do the strategy that I've just told you here. The choice is yours. Um, you make sure to subscribe to my channel. Join my Facebook group, okay guys? Um, I help people in there and others ask questions and help each other. It's a great group. I provide plenty of updates and um, exclusives in that group. It's free to join, so there's no reason to not join. Um, if you want more product reveals, go watch those videos. I give very deep insights into that. Like, not giving you a hundred winning products, but instead giving you a few winning products and teaching you how to actually market them. All right? I know that people want instant gratification, but it doesn't work that easy especially in 2019, so you have to take the time to educate yourself. Um, if you want a product cheat sheet, there's that as well. It's yours, just download it, don't care. Um, if you want to learn more about Google, which I would recommend everyone to do, is watch my playlist there. It's 100% free. People neglect how powerful Google is, and they don't use it properly. I've made that mistake 100 times, and I continue to. But trust me, Google is guaranteed... I just honestly can see that over the next two, three years, as Facebook becomes so incredibly difficult for the average Joe Blow, absolutely assure you there's going to be a flood of people doing Google. We're already starting to see people doing shopping, okay, because that's for, you know, that's easy, it's noobish. Um, but what's going to start happening next is shop, um, search, a lot more search campaigns and YouTube. And people have been asking me about that a lot, so I provide it. However, a lot of people seem to not really care. Always those videos don't seem to have much interest. Um, I'll keep doing them anyway, but it does get kind of frustrating. Um, again, if you want to learn about Facebook ads, watch it there. I can't ever guarantee that it's up to date or whatever. Um, I'm, I don't love Facebook ads anymore. I much prefer Google. If you did enjoy today's video on this, tell me down below as well. If you want other videos, tell me down below, like Google. A lot of people have been asking about Google, so I'm going to do them. It's just a matter of when. And yes, I'm in a bit of a bad mood. Um, if, again, a few people I've uh, passed on my private supplier, as I said, customer quality um, and satisfaction is really important, especially in 2019. Just hit me up on Instagram if you do want that. I'll send it through via Skype. I'm not going to talk to you there. I'm just going to send it through and we can talk. Um, I also have a great graphic designer who's a very nice guy who goes over and above. If you want a good graphic designer, you have to pay for it, okay? You know, just compare it to most of the people in your country, especially like from US, how expensive a graphic designer is compared to like uh, the one that I have, which is like 10 bucks an hour. Nothing. Okay? And again, follow me on Instagram, Ricky at uh, Ricky Hayes IG to get up close and personal with me. Um, Truthfully, though, I don't post much personal crap. It's not my forte. Um, but follow me on Instagram anyway. Thumbs up. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Take care and goodbye.